primary six pupils. I'm Sylvia Kowalczyk. I'm a photographer and Edinburgh-based artist. And I was invited to run a series of workshops with you in the school. At the moment, we can't meet in person. So I was thinking you can use this time uh, for a bit of experimenting, playing around, um, uh, thinking how you can uh, do certain things that we were and going to do during the workshops in the classroom. So I hope you're all healthy and safe. And um, let's see how we can take it as an inspiration for when we can meet in person in a school. So the workshops are inspired by an art movement called Surrealism. And uh, the, the movement was started oops, in 1924 by a group of art friends. But the, um, the main thing is that the artist always worked with something that is beyond reality. They were kind of creating things, new things from scratch, um, using everyday objects to give them completely new meaning. And it's worth uh, looking into what you can do while you're at home, what you can use in that way yourself. They basically had an idea that to create work of art, it would be nice to look deep into you, into your dreams, into things that you kind of think when your mind wanders and create something very unusual from objects that you have readily available. So, for example, here I have different colored papers, even an old piece of bark that I found in the, in, during my walk in the park, a um, bit of white hankies. And I'll show you, um, you can um, cut these items obviously very neatly from a magazine with a pair of scissors, but don't be afraid to also tear them out. So surrealists used various techniques. Uh, let's start with my favorite one, which is the collage, where, well, where from various elements, you can create something completely new, uh, a new entity that kind of gives you some food for thought. You can add various elements and if all these elements are kind of joined together. And another technique which uh, surrealist used was montage. So here we can kind of add other 3D objects. That's my running hat. Let's use this as a pop of color, for example, like this. We can, instead of lips, let's say we can create a pair of moustache. Let your imagination run wild. Oh no, not the moustache, maybe birds. Or maybe a moustache. Uh, let your imagination run wild and see what we can create together. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you can use this time at home productively and um, I'm looking forward to meet you in a classroom and let's think ahead how we can use all the ways I'll show you um, how you can make this time a little bit more art centered. See you soon.